just steps away from the Gulf of Mexico. It's about as far as you can get in the state of Louisiana to the Gulf of Mexico. Cool. We're on the island of Grand Isle where you can see the waves are crashing into what used to be a barrier here. Yesterday, sand filled this whole area where now it has been carved out by waves crashing in. I'm joined now by Mayor of Grand Isle, David Carmadale, and tell me what happened overnight. Well, you can see behind me, the, the levee was all this section here, and the main concern, this is where we don't have rocks, but it's in the scope of the work for us to continue that, but you can see the apron is starting to come out, and that would, we didn't expect that to happen. And you can see the wave energy is in the Gulf right behind you. So the tide's going out, but this morning it was just falling in shears. So we got to continue putting our rocks to make sure that we protect the levee. And building up barriers a little further out in the Gulf to break up that energy from the waves is something that you've been asking for for a long time. Do you think that this makes the case now that what you guys have been doing, piling up sand, is not going to work long term? Exactly. It's covering the tube, but that's fine, but you got to put your rocks out like the Corps has been doing on the east side. And we got the plans, we got the spec. The state's on top of it, CPRA, the parish officials, all the local officials, and even the Corps get involved and look like they're okayed it. But it's all about money. Hopefully we can get with the, the congressmen and the senators and get together like one family and start putting the rocks like it's supposed to be. And I promise you, we don't have to go to Washington and beg no more every six months and, and, and trying to repair the same thing. The homes on the other side of this levee are still dry at this point, but that is not the case over on the north side of Grand Isle. On the bay side, I'll bring you pictures from the north side of the island where homes are already flooded coming up at 5 o'clock. Reporting in Grand Isle, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News. And